I think the first ones we're going to talk about are quarterbacks. Obviously, one of them had a pretty decent game. He went into Kansas City and, you know, basically on their ring ceremony, made them shit themselves a little bit. And Jared Goff, I like Jared Goff at his home opener. I like what he did against Kansas City. Like I said, he only threw for 253 yards, you know, but he had a touchdown, but no picks. And Kansas City's defense was flying around. They were trying to make something happen. I think now they're playing Seattle at home. Seattle just gave up over 300 yards to Matt Stafford, 2-2 Atwell, Puka Nakua. I mean, what's going to happen with Jared Goff? He's got Laporta over there now, which is a, another big waiver wire pickup we talked about this week. You know, and he's got Amon Ross St. Brown. Josh Reynolds was stepping up last week. You know, in really big games already. So these guys aren't really that depleted in their receiving core. I really like me some Jared Goff this week against Seattle at home. I also like Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, let's just put it out there. He shit the bed. He threw a stinker. But that's not who Joe Burrow was. But remember the year before this or last year, you know, the first game, he, I want to say he threw four picks in that first game. And he bounced back in the second game. And good thing he's playing Baltimore in the second game. historically. He, he does really well against Baltimore. And just a side note, if you got Jamar Chase, don't even think about taking him out of your lineup because he averages over 115 yards a game in his career against Baltimore. So I like me some Joe Burrow bouncing back. 